that students detect a teacher who doesn't have the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and I think that can have impacts on all sorts of things, uh, including their wish to teach, to, to study the subject at a higher level if they don't have, think that the teacher is in command of their, yeah. of, of yeah. their, of their subject. So pupils' uh, views, I think, are really important. Um, it's not a complete dead end uh, in terms of uh, subject qualification because you can become an expert over time with the proper CPD, the proper resource. I wanted to mention a program that Natre uh, runs called New to RE, um, and we put in, through, with grant funding, uh, a lot of investment into students so, uh, over a, over a three-year period. The, the dropout rate of, uh, from teaching in that period was, was only about 2 or 3%, and, and many of those went into education-related things anyway. So it's, it's not a foregone conclusion that if somebody doesn't have, um, uh, you know, that the people are going to go. If the proper support is put in, I think we can encourage them to stay. So I think it affects uh, the options, I think, because they, students don't have the confidence. Um, but more, perhaps even more importantly, I mentioned earlier, the inaccuracies and the stereotyping uh, and the just pure incorrect information, uh, I think, is another really big, a really big issue. Uh, and with a subject like religious education dealing with so many contentious issues, that is particularly important. And I think then what happens is head teachers look at those risks and look at the issue and decide then that despite the fact that religious education is compulsory right the way up to 18, that they just need to cut the subject, um, and we're seeing uh, a massive cut in uh, all over 22% of, of schools report zero hours of RE at year 11 now, even though it's a statutory requirement.